Hi guys, welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Well, it's um, Sunday the 9th of um, April 2023 for you time travellers. Um, we've been on the car boots this morning, bought a few coins, uh, bought an M with the 8th uh, penny. Not M with the 8th, M with the, M with the 5th penny, bought a few other coins. I'll share them with you at the end of the video if we've got enough time. However, um, as the title says, we've been building the Brassica cage. So um, that's what I'm going to be showing you in a moment or two. We're also going to be doing a bit of a tour at the end of the video. And uh, we've got a few other clips which we're going to slam in the middle and we're going to put paste them all together and show you what we've been doing. Uh, we've been planting some new raspberry canes and um, we have a, we've had an harvest of um, rhubarb. You're going to see that. And straight after that, we're going to finish probably with um, a look at all the beautiful flowers, add a bit of music to it and show you the flowers that have been coming up this week. But first things first. Um, the brassica cage. Now, um, I got all the all the materials and everything. I I just come back from the. Uh, we started it on uh, Monday. Um, it didn't take me notice. It took me longer um, than I envisaged. But then again, that was because every time I was doing my video, someone rung me up. I had four calls while I was doing it, so it probably took me about an hour and a half. <laughs> so make a, I, it shouldn't have took me um, that long to be quite honest with you to, to do it but I was stop and start stop and start but you're going to see um, the highlights of what I've been doing um, we're going to be cladding it in um, some debris netting I've got a couple of cool acts how to, to how to clip it up so you can lift the sides open and then you can lock it up against to stop the, um, the um, wood pigeons from getting in there so further ado let's show you what we've been doing well guys gotta be honest with you not looking forward to doing this but i'm going to make the brassica cage what i'm going to do is make the the top part first then put the legs on and uh, we'll bolt it all together and hopefully we'll make it nice and sturdy and then we'll put the um we we'll put the debris in it, which is that stuff, over the top of it. Now, I've been working on the height. The debris netting from the, the, the centre, that, that them two lines there, from the centre to the end, is around about 12, 1200. So I can make um, the poles um 1200 die that's so one meter 200 or one well yeah one meter 200 so that's how i can make them uh what i'll do is i'll put two i'll put two um pieces of debris net in and staple them down the center so i've got the edges i might fix the ends but the the the, the the sides I'm going to leave so you can lift them up to get under work underneath them. But uh, yeah, that's what we got to do. But first things first, I've got to move this bloody thing here, this um, apple tree, what, what's in this pot. So I've got to pick that up and go and put it. The only place I can put it is in where my strawberries are going to go. But it won't be in the way of the strawberries eventually when we when we get round to sorting the strawberries out. But I, I'm going to have to move it out of here because it's going to be in the way. So, I think I'd better make a start, aren't I? Well, that wasn't the light. We've got that out of there now. So what I'm going to do... Got 
some would uh, uh, it's uh, what we're going to do I'm going to cut two end pieces and then the long lengths I'm going to fit inside the only way I can do it is show you is me doing it so yeah I'm going to measure measure the, the width for the beds and then uh, cut the wood according screw it all together I do believe I've left me my screwy gun over the other side of the allotments which kind of sucks so I'm going to have to go and get that actually it's the drill that I need not the screwy gun I knew I forgot something so guys well, we're just cutting the, the two the whips two, these two here they're going to be the whips so I'm just going to quickly cut these No. So they're going to sit like that. Okay. The, the, the one down the centre is going to sit like that, but the, the edges are going to sit like that. All will become clear shortly.
Right guys, this is where they have to turn the camera off. Now I've got to go and get two volunteers to lift the um, the frame off up so I can screw the um, sc screw them into the, the top. And here's, here's my victims now. I've got I've got got Mike there and I can see George. So I'm gonna grab the pair of them and then uh, we'll get this done. Guys. I've got the frame built now. I managed to get a couple of pieces of, uh, well, piece of wood. My mate Mike had a piece, so he's just given us to furnish the the upright. Uh, so it's all all level, all square. All he had to do now is clad it in the um, in the uh, what the debris netting, and it's uh, the jobs are good. And, I might add a few strengtheners on the corners. It's uh, pretty stable. It's, very, it's pretty stable that, so I have got these angle things which I can put over them somewhere here. Might as well use them since I bought them. these into the corners I don't know if you can see the plates here these plates that's what they look like let's get a few screws Sticking up there, but the debris nettings go over that, you won't see it. Oh, butterfly. I say, it makes it all nice and rigid. They're lifted up a bit there, but the debris net will come over the top of that and then come down. It won't, won't make no difference whatsoever. Anyway, I've got the other four corners to do, and then uh, it's all done. Well, guys. We've uh, finally got the brassica cage thrown together. I'm going to stick the debris netting over it tomorrow. I'm going to staple the debris netting to the roof and to the, the back and the, the front, but leaving the sides so you can just clip them open. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm not doing it now. Um, I'm going to go and bask in the sun for half an hour. It's absolutely gorgeous here today. Beautiful weather. Bit windy this morning. We have the, have the southerly wind blowing, but yeah, it's solid. <laughs> uh, so it ain't going nowhere. This. All right. Anyway, get all my tools put away. I'll show you me cladding this tomorrow morning. You're going to see straight away anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But that's what's going to happen. Put your tools away. Catch you later. Well guys, I'm just cutting my uh, my debris net in, and uh, just make sure it's nice and taut. Easiest way to cut it is to stick a piece of wood like that, Stanley knife. And cut it along its. I know what's happening.
Right, we've got the two pieces that I need. Uh, what we're going to do, we'll, we'll pull them down to where this like, little hook's here. Let's get it all nice and taut. Then I'm going to staple it to the top. There might be a problem here on the edge. But I'll come to I'll address that when I come to it. But uh, I'm going to get my staple gun now and start stapling the, the roof. I'm going to need uh, a board to stand on the bed so I don't sink into the soil. But yeah, I've got all the all the netting I need for now. A couple of rolls of this stuff. Right, so let me get started and we'll come right back. I'll show you what we're doing in a moment or two. Right, what I'm doing, I'm stapling it to this like this. Do the same on this one. The sides are going to be back and front's going to be um, closed however the front uh, the, the, the two sides will be open sorry Let me show you what I've done here so far. As you can see we've stapled it along the top. We've done this edge, but we're going to open this side. So I've got to um, do some here. So what I'll probably do is put a couple of uh, screws and nails here where I can just clip the wire onto it. Or, I don't know, don't, do I need to take... I will tidy it up. Um, but as you can see... I'm going to staple this side now. I might pull that a bit tighter over here. But you get the picture, don't you? That's that's what we're what we're doing anyway. So I'm going to have at it. And uh we'll tidy it all up and I'll show you what it looks like when we're finished. But you get that's what it'll look like when we're finished and the, the two sides will open up, but the backs will stay closed. Right, onwards and upwards. Oh, I forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> but uh, what we're going to do now, um, I'm going to, these gaps here, I'm going to get some string and tie them up tight. I could have got another couple, another piece of wood and stuck it in there, but I'm not bothering. It's too much messing about. Uh, so what I will do is uh, get a bit of um, string, tie it all nice and tight, same on the back. I'm going to trim these edges here. I will eventually, I'm going to pull this out of here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tidy this edge up, tidy that nice and neat. Again, split this. And put a couple of little screws just to hold it tight and everything's nice and taut so yeah the next thing is now is to get a uh, to find some string uh, to tie them all up so this is this is where it gets interesting I'll find the right amount the right right string to do the job Keep me eye on earth as well. 
holes that one up there I've got this one to do here so what I do is I'm going to weave um, some string between in the holes and pull everything tight it's going to take some time to do this What I will do now is I'm going to trim all the, this, this stuff here, trim it back, give it a bit of an air cut and then um, we've got to work on the opening the, the sides, that's, that's the next job to do. comes bugger lugs right so I'm going to tidy up here now guys and then we'll have, a, we'll have another look in a moment a closer look at what I've been up to playing at the pickle oh well, we're on the home stretch now just got a few screws to stick in here so I can pull the, the net and lock it in more screws and then um, we can start trimming the the net to suit and it'll look a, look a piece when it's done one at the bottom Oops, too, I'll soon see if it's too far but yeah these then just Too. Yeah, that's perfect. It just pulls around it, pull it sort, it pulls everything nice and tight. Right, so all I've got to do now is trim this. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do it yet. I'm going to have a think about it. <laughs> Buttercup sunbathing there. But yeah, that's all we've got to do is trim the, trim the little bits here. Trim this. So what I'll probably do is put a board here, stretch that over it another board and then cut down it I'll probably cut it about about 60 mil so it doesn't fray easy so that's what I'm gonna do well, what I've done I've stuck a board behind this uh, debris net in and pinned it now what I'm doing I'm pulling it taut I'm putting this other piece of wood up against it pulling that 
sort of tortoise, get it all level so it's all equal. And then I've got the angle grind off and I'm just gonna run down the edge and see if it hopefully it'll cut it nice and straight. There we have it. A nice, nice edge. Now I could just pull it over nice and I can just undo it now like that and then get into the, the actual frame. So I'm gonna do that on the rest of them. And then uh, we'll have a, another close look, have a close look at uh, what I've been doing. Well guys, well guys, this is um, me new completed brassica cage. As you see, it's all clad. We fixed the, the back and the front, they don't open. The roof doesn't move. However, all of this, this side, the full length here, on both sides, actually um, undo. And it lifts up onto the roof and you can get full access into the bed. Um, we will be putting the brassicas in here. And then, well, I don't want to do it today because it's uh, direct, It's really warm today. I want to put the brassicas in on a cool day. Um, so what we're looking for is a couple of cooler, cooler days where it's um, not very windy and it's not raining. Then we can stick them in, harden them off as we stick them in. Um, and then I think the, the, the actual debris netting will keep the, the chill off them as well. And um, they'll fly away. The other brassicas are doing all right in the other bed there. So I can't see why these ain't gonna do any, any better or any worse anyway. So as you saw, the brassica cage is now made. Um, I might make a couple more of them to be quite honest with you. Um, but not today um, Now we've got the brassicas are in the front green house. Let me show you these brassicas So these are all my brassicas which need to go out the um, Brussels sprouts near the wheelbarrow. They're almost, almost 12 inches high them uh, We've got collies. We've got kale um, We've got savoy cabbage. We've got Huntsman cabbage greyhound cabbage uh, there's quite a lot of different ones here and I've still got loads more to prick out and pot on. It is never ended. But if I get these out then I can get everything else, get, use this for putting more um, tomatoes and stuff like that and getting them all started. Get them all put into bigger pots. But I just thought I'd show you these, um, these brassicas. I think we, we put these in um, last week. We potted these on, I think it was last week or was it the week before, I'm not too sure but uh, they doubled in size anyway as of the all them <laughs> watching everything could do now as you can see they're quite big some of them are nearly a foot tall they need to go out however I cannot put them out I could not put them out in the last few days the last three days has been absolutely sweltering here uh, I've also put them out in the daytime at the night time the temperatures dropped down so it was like I mean it was like summer outside but in the evening when the, there was no cloud cover so the temperatures dropped down to 27 I mean in this greenhouse the, the temperatures are 100 degrees and then it went down to 27 so it's like 70 degrees between day and night uh, well, not support, not outside, but you would I would say they're about ten degrees difference. And if I was to take them out and put them out, they would be sh under shock. And then at the night time, when the, dream the temperatures dropped, they get a double hammering of um, the cold. So what I want to do is wait for a couple more days because it's going to get a bit cooler, and then I can get them out. Anyway, enough about the brassicas. Let's show you some of the other things that I've been doing. I've got a string of videos here. I put pieces and put them all together. Let me show you what we've been doing. What we're looking at here is a, a raspberry. Raspberry came and um, 
these are the autumn um, variety and there's a root stock now you notice how, it, how it's thinner that way than it is that way now if you plant it that way the um, the canes will move from left to right if you turn it from this way they move towards me or away from me so you got to make sure when you're planting these along the fence that you get them the right way otherwise you're gonna find them um, going into your bed rather than going along the um, the the fra your framework I've got three of these here's another one point in case see how the roots are gone how the roots are going along like that they're going how it's thin so you, if you're gonna plant them to go along the um, you want to plant them like that not like that otherwise they'll start to come this way so you want them to go that way anyway I've got three of them oh buttercups laying in bed at the moment what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put one there one here I might try to squeeze another one just in behind this loop and you won't, won't be able to see it but that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna leave the camera set up in here I'm gonna get me a little trowel and we're gonna go and plant these into this bed that way we're gonna get some autumn raspberries as well I'll probably end up choking to death on that uh, hyacinth which you can see right in this well in the in the picture there but yeah I'm gonna quickly go and get them out before it starts raining again
so as you see we got the uh, the raspberries in now I managed to get the free in in this bed here what you see what looks like weeds are literally hundreds of lupins so I might get a few pots and um, put a few of these on and give them away as a uh, as little presents down here all these what look like weeds eight weeds and they're all lupins and there's a bigger bloody loop in there which I missed when I pulled them all out last year but uh, yeah we should have some nice uh, raspberries later on in the year right onwards and upwards oh guys I've just noticed here this um, this planter has got flooded there's no drain holes in it so <laughs> let's add a few look at this put a couple another one in there I think there we go I think that should make them a bit happier what do you reckon yeah, I've actually got another one over there but I think that, that one's actually got holes in the bottom of it I've, so yeah I did that last year with one and uh, flooded it and would you believe it the rose which was inside there survived all, all the year long until right at the very end when it froze like a lollipop and I lost it so <laughs> I just um, I've, anyway they've got drain holes in there now I like to I wonder what these these um, are definitely daffodils there's a few other different things in there but don't need to water that planter so there's a plus some nice flowers there some of as some rise others fall I'm gonna have to be dead dead in some of the uh, the daffodils shortly this weather takes a lot of them out but um as you can see it does look lovely around here it looked better in a couple of weeks right anyway we saved the flowers well guys just feeding me chickens uh, they were really getting stuck in there aren't they There's some croutons they got water there they got water there they got food here this is what you've got to do keep them all top so i'll just just put new food in you've got the um oyster shell there for the the shelves the calcium to make the shells and they got little treats anyway i'm going to leave them to it but uh starting to turn this floor to to compost again don't take them long well you could say this is the first harvest of the year some rhubarb just taking it from the rhubarb patch here buddy might with his um grinder typical but yeah uh, some nice rhubarb there nice and alpha when you're pulling your rhubarb you need to make sure you pull it out like that just snaps off do not leave that in the rhubarb it'll kill it well it'll damage it but anyway some beautiful rhubarb there out of one of my rhubarb patches well guys this is uh, the rhubarb what I just picked so I'm going to top and tail it and put the tops and the, the tails in the the compost bin the rest of it well it's uh, going to go in a rhubarb crumble or rhubarb pie so there we are all top and tailed we'll put them in the compost bin shortly absolutely awesome more than enough there to make a nice pie
So yeah, we're going to have some nice um, autumn raspberries. I uh, forget the name of them. Um, I, I was told and like went in this air and out the other. Um, the rhubarb though, some lovely rhubarb there. Um, I had a uh, rhubarb crumble and custard. Absolutely fantastic. Got to try it. Really nice. So, um, and then um, the the flowers. The flowers have been awesome so far this year. There's absolutely thousands of them coming up. This, uh, you, this is just the tip of the iceberg, what you're seeing there. There's more coming up as we speak and more opening as we speak. So I try to catch them when they're up, when they're just opening, so you get them at the full um, beauty. And there's some awesome ones there. So anyway, um, I've got one more clip to show you. That's a walk around the plot, just to show you how spring is now um, in full, in like full, full speed ahead. Last week there was hardly anything, anything, um, any of the leaves on the trees. Let me show you what it looks like on the the plot this week. Well, this is uh, me, me rhubarb at the back of the plot. For I thought we'd start there today. My comfrey is coming up. So's me, um, me foxglove, and there's a few flowers here. There's buttercup. Um, the elephant garlic's doing well, so are the brassicas in that cage there. Um, these are, we've just had to put these in because uh, the foxes dug them all up, the buggers. So we've put a few more um, garlic in here. So these are solent and they're porcelain white. Them there, uh, them onions in that bed, well we'll come down to that on the other side. But yeah, all these planters, you've got some beautiful tulips, different varieties of tulips coming up along here. The greenhouses are closed at the moment. Um, I just closed them up. The trees, well, you can see they're starting getting their leaves back on them now. Um, the herbs are coming up. The um, day lilies are doing all right. That that rose we planted up again is uh, doing okay. It's uh, survived its um, days in the compost bin. That's where it was before I pulled it out. Got lots of little tulips and daffodils, all different varieties of them coming up here. Same here. The um, black currants have got leaves on them. Got some, uh, we've got some flowers there on the the rosemary. The gooseberries here have got all started to get the leaves on them now. As you can see, we've got lupins coming up. We've got tulips all the way. Every one of them's different. Um, again, the. Um, sedum starting to come up now. Uh, yellow flag irises, I hope they don't, but they will, more than likely. They'll still be on the end, both sides there, they're coming up. My poppies are doing really well. But um, just here, uh, me, me raspberries, are, not raspberries, goose, gooseberries are doing fantastic. This bed here, well, it's got a mixture of all sorts of stuff in here. We've got lots of different varieties of tulips and daffodils I mean just look at them they're absolutely beautiful and these are just starting to come up now so it's going to look gorgeous here and just in between all this like you've got the um, calendula um, down here we've got loads of violas and pansies not much happening here at the moment but give it a chance the aliens will be up shortly these buckets are firing up as well um <laughs> Which way do we want to walk around? Doesn't matter, walk across here. These are red currants. These are all the fruits there, starting. Uh, this, they've got little flat. Oh, we, hey, we might get some pears off this thing here. I can move it about as well, this uh, tree. This one I can't. This is uh, me golden delicious. Oh, we're getting close to these hyacinths. There's uh, four different colours in there. All these tulips are firing up along the back here. The um, the white currants, well, they're just, they just take a little bit longer to get the leaves on them. It, the, they're the last ones to get them. Starts off with the red currants, then the black currants, and then the white currants. Inside there, we've got, well, we've actually got flowers on the, um, on the strawberries there. With them covers on, they should be okay. I'm... I'm I've lost, I think it's four strawberries, so I need to buy four more because I like round numbers. 
this tree's coming to life as well, this um, apple. Don't know if we're going to get anything from it. We wait with bated breath. This sedum's coming up wonderful. See the sedum here? A killer, little bugger. Don't you dare climb up that tree. I, she was ready for jumping into that tree then. <laughs> um, this is another gooseberry. These are gooseberries as well here, these three gooseberries. They're grafted onto tree stock, so... Yeah, they're, they've actually got um, fruits forming on them as well. Rhubarb's looking really good here as well. Rhubarb's looking really, really good. Again, we're surrounded by... The rhubarb is surrounded by all these tulips all down the backs. It's, uh, you know... We like colour everywhere. I like to. I just love colour, and I don't care if I've got tulips growing in me, uh, in me, me rhubarb bed or in me uh, current bed. Um, again, I've missed the back here, but these are all me, me raspberries, and they've all they're all firing up. We've had to replace a couple of them, but um, yeah, they're doing well. Uh, that's that horrible smelly um isoms i do like the isoms but i don't like the smell it's too perfume and they take me breath away this tree is getting its uh, leaves as well right bird feeders have got full of food so yep there is that path looks really nice down there this this bed here we've got to clean up i've got to get in here and do some weeding these are all um brown skins, um, onions, um, I think they're called um, Centaurian and I think there's some Stuttgart in there as well. These ones are the Snowball and Red Baron, That's we did a bit of weeding in there the other day. Chicken's got the food, uh, got all the weeds. You see me brassica cage, looking really good. Around the pond, We've got daffodils, tulips and everything coming up. We have got frogs in there. Oh, frogs just dived down there then. But um, there is uh, tadpoles in there as well. They're not doing very well in these pots here for some reason. I don't know what that's what, what's happened there. Because they're getting full sun. I'm going to have to... Uh, well, I'm going, to be I'm going to be taking the tops off them anyway. They've already flowered. You can see they've already flowered. Uh, but I'm going to take the tops off and put some some like geraniums in the, in over the top of the um, the spring bulbs, the the uh, lucifers up here. So we we're going to have to start thinking about taking this cover off the um, the dahlias. What we will do is put fleece over it. But this bed here, this is where we're going to be putting all the brassicas very soon. I did see something very scary here before. Um, oh, by the way, these are blueberries. Blueberry, two blueberries here. This is going to be for me um, peas. Looks like sooner rather than later, I'm going to have to put the fleece on here because look well, what's happened. What well, I can see. Cover them up. The buggers have come up. I didn't expect them to come up a, a week after planting them. That's not rocket site. That's not very good. However, I'm going to put a bit more soil in these buckets just to top them up a bit more. The me girls. We've got plenty of food and water. There they are. <laughs> Bugger lugs over there. What's she like? So, as you can see, the life is coming back to me allotment. Uh, along with that life it comes the weeds and the grass, what needs to be cut outside. But uh, <laughs> the weeds, what you got, all you got to remember is at this time of year, sharpen that hole because you're going to be needing it. Because um, then weeds grow, they grow twice as fast as, as your um, vegetables. So if you're not on 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 point, you're going to um, find your, your your cabbages and everything getting overwhelmed by all the 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 weeds. My chickens absolutely adore them. 
them weeds. Um, you may have seen the clip there where there's stuff in the faces. Uh, we did the onion bed. I've still got one more onion bed to tidy up yet. I would have done that today, but um, it turned out um, there's a bit of miscommunication um, in the shop. I got here, shop, why is the shop not open? Well, um, I opened the shop <laughs> and everybody rushed in. <laughs> so I, I had the shop open for an hour. Took uh, took a lot of money in that hour, I tell you. Um, but I'm, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get off in a moment or two. I've got this last little clip. It's some coins that I bought on the car boot today. So let me show that show them if, I, if I've got enough time. So check this out. Well, guys, this is what I've been wasting me money on here today. Um, this uh, Edward uh, Duke of Windsor uh, medal. It's solid silver. It's, it's more like the size of a crown. Uh, beautiful coin. A lot of toning on it. Paid uh, 15 quid for that. Absolute Bobby Dazzler. I saw this um, George the Third penny. It's a bit dark. But, uh, yeah, I really stumped up for this. He wanted 12 quid. I offered him eight. And that's what we settled on. But, uh, yeah, it's a really nice coin. I say the best till last. I bought three florins, uh, 1920, um, 28 and 31. If you look at the difference, the, the way these are, you see see how they, they go across and to the left, and then these ones go from corner to corner. Um, now this one here is the same obverse of, of the... Um, uh, King Charles 50p. Anyway, I said I saved the best till last. Here's a, a silver diamond penny, Emma the uh, fifth. Uh, that's when he reigned. And I did stump up for this one. I paid 35 quid. It's clipped to death, but it's uh, it's fairly good for what it is. I mean, I couldn't resist it. They sold it for about 50, 60 quid in that condition so i thought 35 quid was a fair fair deal and that's what i paid for it i thought it was a belt so i do like the amid coins and i do like the kings and queens and uh, oh yeah here's the thing you're gonna love this these was in a in a, in a bag let me put them out it was a little plastic bag and i said to him i says uh what do you want for these mate it says a fiver. Yeah, you, you, you see, that is a two pound. That's a two pound. There's a 50 fee. That's, there's a fiver there. So I said, what, fiver for them? He says, yeah. Oh, it's a go on. Give me four quid. So I give him the four quid. So there's, so these, what I got here, I got for now. Uh, Pride Dictionary. That's the, the first uh, 50p ever made. Um, 69, that's a commemorative, um, I think it's uh, the day battle, but I'm not too sure, I forget what it is. I've got a dozen of these, but these, I've got these in mint, mint state, and I've got them in silver proof. So we did all right, we got a few coins. There you go. So we did all right, we got a few bargains there. I did cough up for one or two things, like the, um, the, the the um, M of the um, fifth um, penny, nice nice coin that, and um, also the uh, George the Third, it's eighteen oh six penny. That's pretty good nick for what that was. It's I mean it's wow, it's over two hundred and eighteen or well, two hundred and seventeen years old that coin and the condition of it was fantastic. When I saw it there, I had to rescue it. But um, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm gonna get off now. I'll try and get this video edited and up later. Um, I mean, I'm pushing it. It's six o'clock now, so the video won't get get up until at least twelve o'clock. I've got to do all the editing and piecing it all together, which is the fun bit. 
that's why I don't do a video every day if I could do a video I could do like a, a 10 minute clip every day but I don't turn the um, analytics on because I don't um, monetize anything make any money out of the the videos um, but like I say there's, there's over I think there's 593 videos what are you doing more cup there's over 593 videos for, for you to watch there so uh, anyway I'm going to get off now because like I I've got a, a, while I'm doing all that I've got, actually got to jump in the bath as well got the hospital tomorrow over there Monday bank holiday Monday and I'm in the hospital at um, 20 past 10 for an MRI on my head not looking forward to that but all the days to, to, to actually um, to get dragged into hospital it's my own fault because I said that he can do it next week he wanted to do it there and then um, the, when I was when I went in and seen the specialist on on one, last last this Monday just gone, um, he says you'd be getting a phone call um, from the um, X-ray um, in the next two to three weeks. He says don't worry if it comes um, any sooner. I only got here. I was just about making a brassica cage when he phoned me up to make the appointment. So anyway, yep. So got a lot to do i'm going to get her tuck her into bed here and i want to get editing this video so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you liked um the brassica cage it should keep them wood pigeons at bay because we they are a problem on this allotment i wouldn't have built a brassica cage if, uh, if it was if it wasn't for them wood pigeons because they just wipe everything out anyway i've talked longer than i've definitely talked long enough buttercup's falling asleep here on me knee and um, i'm going to tuck her in bed now and uh, get out of here so until next time stay safe and bye for now folks okay.